Hello, hello friends, uh, waterfall developers, creators. Today we will build an application that consume data from a PostgreSQL database and return us summary for different uh, metrics uh, using functions. So we will talk about how to call different functions from uh, your PostgreSQL database and how to bind data to a flutter flow uh, charts to flutter flow components and uh, etc. So if you build uh, dashboards or some type of reports of some type of visualization for your data from PostgreSQL, uh, this video will be very useful for you. So first of all, what we will do, we will connect our database to API flow as we will use API flow as our connector platform. I will create a new project and we'll select PostgreSQL as service I want to connect. Next, I need to create PostgreSQL connection or, or select one if I have, I already have one, but if you need to create new connection, you will need to uh, specify your server host, uh, domain or IP address. It must be public available. Uh, next, uh, server port or leave it by default if you use default port. Next, username for your user to assess database and password for, for your database. So when you connected your database, you need to select account, next select database, we will use database called SalesDB. And I can specify tables I will use and operations I will use. I will not use any uh, additional operations, I will just leave as it is. And next I have a few functions here. So I have function get sales by categories, get country sales and get sales by countries. Uh, get sales by categories returns sales uh, amount and count by categories. Country sales uh, receive country and return sales for this country and get sales by countries return uh, summaries for many countries. So I select all my procedure or my all my functions and I will publish my project. So next, I what I will do, I need to connect my API gateway to uh, Flutterflow. For this, I will download open API definition. API flow will generate automatically all required, all required specifications. I go to Flutterflow to API call section and will upload my open API definitions from API flow. So as you can see, I received all operations that I selected in API flow and I have also ability to call my functions from uh, PostgreSQL. Uh, what I need to do also, I need to copy authorization header from here and specify it there in my API group. Next, save this header. Uh, when we go to our function and we'll test, for example, we will start with sales by category. Uh, when we call test, we will actually receive data back. So we have category field here and total uh, field here. This is uh, amount of our category sales. So to uh, work with this data, I will create a data type for this. I will copy JSON and will create data type from JSON and I will uh, name it category sales and we'll paste this JSON here, press create, and uh, first of all, created a data type for me. So I have category and total field in my data type. Next, I will go to my uh, API call and we specify that I want to parse it responses data type and we'll mark it to be parsed as a list because this is a list. So next I need to save changes. Next I will go to get country sales and here I will 
uh, I will I will actually need to specify a body uh, variable. So I will go to my variables and will create a country variable. It will be type string. Sadly, API for the moment, uh, for the moment, do not create automatically variable variables for uh, body fields. So we will use uh, we will must to create it ourselves. We created this parameter and next we can specify country. I use like simple two letter codes and we will check what we will receive in response. So we received orders count and total. So next what we will do, we will copy this and we'll go to my data types and we'll create here, for example, country, um, um, single country sale. Uh, why single? Because I have also another function which will return more data and uh, I will create another data type for, me, for it. So here I will specify that I want to parse to single country sales. And anyway, it's a list. So like function call always return a list. And next I will go to my get sales by countries function. I don't have any body or variables here. It's a very simple function. I call it and I also receive uh, metrics, sales metrics for countries. I go to my data types and I want to create a country sale data type and we'll paste JSON here. I create my data type and we'll return to API call and specify that I want to parse it. Okay, we parsed all our data, everything is set from API side. So next we can go here and start working with our page. So what we want to do here, for example, for this column, we want to bind, uh, we want to bind backend query and it will be our API call uh, get sales by categories confirm and we will bind result to our chart. So we have pie chart, we will use source numbers list, uh, legend values, we will get it from our, uh, our call get sales. And here is data type uh, map list items, item in list, data structure field, and here we will work with category. This is our labels. And next we need to set section values. We also will use this uh, call and we will specify map list items, item in list, data structure field, total and we will see our values here. Uh, okay, okay. So we have everything, everything as expected here. And next we will bind our sales by country. We need to bind our data query, API call, uh get sales by countries okay and here we will mm, use numbers list mm -hmm. as data type map list items data structure field country country for uh Okay, we bind it to labels, uh, to values, sorry, we need 
use here to town. Okay. And here we will use data type, map list item, item in list, data structure field, uh, count for our labels. Okay. Okay. We have all these specified. All these specified. What we want, value or percent. Let's go with value. Default. Okay. And here we want also, for example, uh, for example, value. Okay. Let's check how it works. So now, as you can see, uh, my application is loaded and it shows our numbers like by category and by country. If we uh, reload it, you will see how it queries data and quite simple and quite fast. But for example, we want to also show a legend here. So let's enable a legend. Uh, so you remember it's somewhere here. Yeah. It's here, for example, and we can uh, specify different options for legend. It also can be enabled for another chart legend. Okay, so now we will see what every color means and how to uh, how to read that chart. Yeah, as you can see, it requires anyway some positioning. Uh, I will not do it now because I want to show you additional additional option how you can uh, uh, how you can uh, read uh, call some function using parameter and display data in single single label. So. We want to show data here. For this, we will bind our call to uh, backend query of this block. Uh, we will use API call and we will use get country sales. Here we have variable to specify and we will specify our country. For example, we will use USA and then we will bind it to this field. So we will bind it to a combination of text and first text will be just sign of dollar. And then we will use colors, call result, uh, first, 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 first item, uh, item at index, uh, first item, then data structure field total and this will be our total it's quite long as you can see pass but it will allow us to show number of uh, amount of sales in this field yeah so now as you can see we have our sales here and we can check it here it's same and same amount of sales so you can bind result of a function to components in for the full application if you use chart remember that you need to bind uh labels to uh to some like label fields it must be a string and uh, values to value fields that must be a number. Uh, so, and then for the fall, we'll do all the magic and we'll prepare a chart for you and we'll show it on your dashboard. Uh, also, you can bind it to single element, choosing, for example, first item from the list and binding it to some labels to text fields, combined text, and etc. and etc. 
I hope this video will be useful for you and you will be able to call different functions from PostgreSQL database and uh, enhance your development experience and your application. Thank you for your attention and have a good day.